going on sunshines welcome back to another video and as you guys can see from the title this is going to be a collective haul you guys know i'm like the queen of hauls the self-proclaimed queen of hauls <laughs> however i did go into walmart and picked up a couple things rose oh i can't wait to show you what i got from rose um i got a couple things off of amazon and dirt cheap oh y'all i was glad i stopped in dirt cheap that day because i got a couple cute little things i can't wait to show you if you heard me talk about dirt cheap before on my channel you know why i love it it's kind of like a scourger hunt not a thrift store i know a lot of people saying it was kind of giving them that thrift store vibe however these items are all new but you will find a couple used things that people have returned to like target or whatnot they'll still try to sell them but dirt cheap buy things in bulk from like target and whatnot and then you know they'll resell it at dirt cheap however you've been on my channel uh you know a while you have already heard me talk about it however i'm glad i went in that day because i can't wait to show you what i got in let's go ahead and get started honey because i don't want this video to be too 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 long or whatever because you know i get on here and yapping being excited or whatnot so let's go ahead and get started okay so the first thing I want to show you is from Dirt Cheap because it's sitting right here. I got my little area or whatever goodies. So let's go ahead and get into the Dirt Cheap item. Um, the first thing I found from Dirt Cheap, and I've already worn these, you guys, but I was glad that I found them. And they're these super cute black rubber rain boots. And I only paid $5 from these. And they're by the brand New Day. And that is from Target. So yeah, see, I already worn. I think there's a scuff right here. I think this is a scuff or dust or whatever or whatnot. But they're just simple black rain boots. I wore them the other day when it was raining for like three days here in Texas. So, yeah, $5 from Dirt Cheap. Can't beat that because I believe the original price was like $30 or whatnot. Next from Dirt Cheap. I think I only got two pieces. I was hyped up for them two pieces. Got this really cute um, pink sweater right here. And it has a hoodie right here. Super, super cute. And I paid $2 for this, you guys, from Dirt Cheap. $2. And it's super, super oversized. Let me see if I can show it right here. Um, like I said, um, I got it for $2. It was originally $27.99 from Target. And I did get it in a 3X because that was all that they had. And I was not letting this pretty sweater go. Okay, let's go to Ross. I went to Ross. Um, I don't know if you guys have been seeing all on Instagram, but Rihanna is, um, really popping right now. So her fragrance is kind of like a hot commodity. If you didn't know, you better ask somebody. Like everybody's really searching for Rihanna's fragrances, whether it's the body spray or the perfume. However, my sister did tell me about these minis that she did, um, see floating around on Instagram. So I had tried my luck at Ross. Didn't find the exact one she was referring to, but I did stumble across these now i do have the perfume to one of these well both of them and it's the uh rihanna new new by rihanna and the riri -Ri by rihanna so i got the you can see it probably can't tell well it's probably high right here um my little perfume but i do have the perfumes to these so i did pay 7.49 each for these and i had said the day that i'm wearing that fragrance or whatnot I would carry these in my bag, you know, not both, but you know what I'm saying. If I'm wearing a new perfume, I'll carry this in my bag just to kind of freshen up and touch my uh, fragrance up for that day. So I got both of those. Next from Rose. So I was wanting this cute sweater from Target that had the big old fashioned buttons. You probably don't know what I'm talking about, but it's pretty popular, the big fat button. But I didn't want to pay like $40 for that sweater. So I left it there and I stumbled across one very similar in Ross. And this is what I'm referring to. It's this really pretty. This was not the exact color that I was talking about in Target, but I was wanting the concept. So it's this really pretty, I don't know what color this is, a golden mustard color. Really, really pretty and fall light. So I got this from Ross and I just love the detail. Look at that little stitching detail. And here's the buns I was referring to. I hope you guys can see it. So it has these really cute bun details, but the one at Target is like larger. But I said I will stick to this. And I love this V-neck right here. So I got it from Ross for $14.99. So that's kind of like almost like half price than the Target um, price. 
Next, from Ross, I got me some PJs. I only got them. Well, you can never go wrong with a lot of PJs, you guys. Like, they get dingy, scrunchy, no matter what your, you know, um, washing routine is. Your, your, your clothes tend to just break down. The fabric just tend to break down and get grungy, and I can't stand them. OCD won't allow me to to deal with nothing like that. However, I picked up the PJs only because it was on clearance for Snick six nine nine, and they're by the brand Aeropostale. Oh, my watch done fell out. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so they're by the brand Aeropostale. So here's the little sleep shorts, super super cute. And it's kind of have this camouflage detail in the back with arrow wording all on the shorts. And here's the top. Just something cute and comfortable that I can lounge around in. What does that say? 87. And I, want, I wish I was born in 87, but super, super cute. And I got this in a size. Um, let's see. It's a three. It's a three. So, yeah, super, super cute for $7. Next from Ross, you guys, I know from my last video i think of my last or the one before that i was talking about man the hubby was gonna go on a anniversary trip well it didn't happen i'm not gonna get into it it didn't happen but i did buy me another mumu y'all know i've talked about mumus before i i'm here for a good mumu so i did pick up this mumu right here from ross for nine yeah 9.99 and it was just giving vacation vibes I love the colors. You know, I love my bright colors, the pinks, the blues, and it got the palm trees on it. And at the bottom, just have this pretty ombre of other colors. Just real cute vacation vibes. So I had got that for the trip. But unfortunately, we didn't go. But it's all good, though, because we're still going. Okay, next from Ross, um, the hubby found this. Um, he know I do my social media, my YouTube, so he picked up me this studio light box kit right here. And as you can see, you just put your item or whatever you want to photograph in the box and to give it a clean background. And this was $4.99. So he said they were super cheap, so he got me two boxes of those so I can, you know, take pictures for social media or whatnot. So that was good. Next from Ross, um, like I'm now in the babe cave. I'm still trying to work on it. I'm trying to decide if I want to replace some of my pictures that I've had for quite some time. You know, sometimes pictures can kind of get scuffed up around the edges, you know, from moving and such. So I found this one at Ross for $3.99, and I thought it was an absolutely good deal and a really pretty picture. So these are like the Valentino heels, and I don't own a pair of Valentino heels. However, you know, I guess this is the closest thing I'm going to get to them. So, but $3.99, you cannot beat that. And it goes with my aesthetic in the Bay Cave. The next picture I got from Ross is this super cute one right here. I hope I'm in the frame. Yeah. So, it has the red bottoms, the Gucci Tom Ford, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and the Saint Laurent book on here. So I thought it'd be super cute to replace one of my pictures that I don't no longer want. And I paid $11.99 for that. I'm trying to find somewhere to put it. Okay, and last from Ross. I bought this a while ago, but I forgot to show it to you guys because that's when the hubby didn't want to get it uh, for me. But I got this super cute pink stool, you guys. It is so cute. And it's how much I paid for it. Can y'all? It's upside down, but it says $14.99. And it's just a step stool. And it has a grip right here so you can't fall. And it's of metal. And I just thought this was really, really cute for my babe cake. Because as you guys see, I have this cabinet system. And I also have a closet in here. And sometimes I can't reach some of the items that I'm trying to get to. So this will come in handy. And of course, it's pink. So check out y'all Ross if y'all didn't search for something like that. Oh, excuse me, you guys. The weather is changing, so my sinus has been acting up. Okay, let's get into some Amazon pieces. So this is another item that I was going to take with us on our trip. But, um, yeah, we can always save it for later. So I got the hubby and I a cup of um, TSA-approved 
traveling bags to put in our carry-on. And they're the same thing, just different colors. But I got him the black set. And it comes with three pieces. And I can't remember the prices, but I'll leave all Amazon links down below. The other items, you guys, I'm not going to leave them down below. No links to them down below. Um, although, I'm going to show you some Walmart stuff that I know it will have links, but I'm just screenshot it or whatnot. But like I was saying, this is three pieces. They're the same size. And a TSA approved. You know the clear bags you need to put on your carry-on or whatnot. I got him the black. And you guys already know I got me the pink. Like I said, I got the pink. And it's the same thing, like I was saying. Three pieces. That pink is so, so pretty. Three pieces. So, yeah. We can always save it for our next traveling adventure. Okay, the next item I got from um, Amazon, if you have not seen my last video where I went to the Gucci store, um, I'm going to leave that video linked down below. I hope you watched it. But I did get some accessories for that bag. And the first thing that I got was a chain to convert. Uh-oh. Hold on, y'all. To convert um, the case into a crossbody. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen that done plenty of times before. Here is the chain right here. Very, very heavy and high quality. And the reason I chose, can y'all see the detail? The reason I chose this three link chain, let me show it again, y'all. See that? It's because the, uh, let me show you the bag. Okay. So I got the Gucci um, Ophidia. Um, so GG uh, toiletry case, and I wanted to transform it to a crossbody so I can either carry it like a clutch or actually put it across me. So I bought the insert. Can you guys see the insert? I'm sure y'all have seen this done plenty, plenty of time. So I bought the insert so I can actually add straps to it to make it a crossbody and i wanted options so i got this chain because this chain it resembles the actual ophidia gg um medium shoulder bag the chain that originally comes with it that one is like seventeen hundred dollars and this chain resembles that bag to the t so that's why i got this off of amazon and then i got this one off of amazon if i want more so that more casual look this is more dressy and i got this one for a more casual look and i think i did pretty good it kind of match it's a little off but who's gonna check me you know it's a little off but yeah i will leave these um straps these two and this insert down below the insert is kind of small it originally supposed to fit the Louis Vuitton um, toiletry um, pouch in size 26, but I could not find one to fit this, you know, um, perfectly, but it, it, it fit. It does what it needs to do. So, yeah. I hope I said that right so y'all can understand, honey, because the... Um, the Ophelia um, shoulder bag was like $17.50, something in that park. And the chain on it looked just like it. So I was like, hey, I'm going to Amazon and find me a chain on there. I just can't see how that is like an $800 difference between that, that this bag and that bag just based off the chain. I, I don't know, honey. Yeah, so that is all I got from Amazon. Let's get it to Walmart because I got quite a few pieces from Walmart. Okay, next from Walmart, just got this really pretty, um, they call it a coin pouch or wallet or whatnot. But I seen a girl here on YouTube. I can't remember her name, but I seen her haul one of these in this color and black. And I was like, oh my God, I have to find it. I never could find it myself. So I had my friend go look for it for me and she actually got lucky. And it was $7.97, and it does come with this little class right here. But it's just a little cute little little coin pouch or whatnot. I thought it would be cute to just accessorize my um, my coach bag. I have a lot of bags that that's in this color. Um, but I could put my mask in here. I could put coins in here. 
I can put my 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 phone. Char- I can do a lot with this. So, because I don't like things to be floating around in my bag. Although I have a lot of inserts for my bags, I just don't like stuff to be out of place. So I just thought that'd be really really cute. So when I went to Walmart these past couple of days, um, we get a little little hot, honey. Um, they've been having crazy clearance. Like I'm talking about Buku clearance. So I got a couple pieces. Um, and this is one of them. This is like a um, little tank. It's super, super big. It's a 4X. But it's super cute. I love that color. Really cute for fall. And it has this little back detailing. It's, like I said, a 4X. But I got it because, of course, it was $1. Y'all know I'm like the deal diva. But I thought it would be really cute to wear to bed. Kind of a little, little sexy vibe. A little mood. Or whatever, because it's very oversized, it's big. But it's long enough on me, I'm just 5'1", um, to hit past, like, my knee or whatever to wear to bed. Like a little, like a little teddy, a little, little, a little nightgown situation. If you don't know what a teddy is, you too young, you know. You go ask your mama, your grandma. But this is what that reminds me of. So I got it for $1. Next, this was not on clearance, but I got it because it matches my, um, my Jordans. But I got this really cute Snoopy t-shirt that says, um, I do it tomorrow. Is that what it say? I'll, I do it tomorrow. Yeah. And this pretty like Carolina blue or whatever. And you guys know I love my t-shirts oversized. So I did get it in 3X. Because by the time you wash them one or two times, they're going to shrink, honey. So I got it in a 3X. And this was like 7, some China 788 or whatnot. So I got that for a casual look so here's the fun part these next items y'all they were complete steal run to your walmart run to your walmart and you guys let me know if you score any of these items let me know hit me up on here hit me up on instagram just let me know because i was just blown away y'all look at this hold on thumbnail Y'all, look at this. Okay. Y'all, these are two-piece pajama sets. This is like a pink and gray and like a charcoal color. Army fatigue top with a matching bottom. Y'all, y'all see that? $3. Originally, $11.87. Y'all, it was like a whole doggone rack of them. Two racks per se. Y'all, I was over there sweating, trying to get every print that I could see to that ground because they had smalls all the way up to like three eggs. Y'all, I got some for myself. I got some for Christmas gift. I was not leaving Walmart without getting a handful of these cute pajamas, you guys. Like I told y'all, y'all can get these pajamas and just throw them away or whatever because the way I love to lounge around in cute, comfortable pajamas, I, I run through them. I run through them. So cheap, inexpensive pajamas like this is, is nothing. The old ones get back, toss them out, donate them or whatnot, and pop out a new one. Pop the tag on a new one. So I got that print. Let me see. I got a couple, so I'm trying to find where to put it. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is one of my favorites, y'all. Look at this color. Look at this top, y'all. And they're all, I got different sizes, what they had available. So I got a couple 2Xs and 3Xs. Look at this color. $3, you guys. Super, super cute. Let me run through these because I don't want this video too, too long. This next, okay. Those two are my favorite. This is a Coffee Queen. Now, I did have this in the gown. Same concept with the pants. $3. Look at this one. Really, really pretty. Blue cheetah print with a little pink. $3. Same pants. Y'all. Now, this is a short set. This is super, super cute. MTV. It comes with the shirt and some socks. And the tie-dye shorts right here. For $3. And how much this originally was? Let me see. Where is the price? I don't know. Oh, 1487. It's right there in my face. It says right there. Really 1497. 
for three dollars so that is all that I got for the PJ concern. But like I said, make sure y'all check out y'all Walmart. If y'all too bougie and funny acting the, the shop cleaners, then this ain't the channel for y'all because I love me a good clearance, honey. Okay, so next we're going to get into some shoes. I picked up these, um, what are these? Comeback boots from Walmart, you know, the comeback trend. It's popping right now. And I'm like, I ain't even going to be chasing nobody down to find me a good pair of comeback boots. Because a lot of stores like H&M, um, Shein, Zara, they're selling out. So, when I spotted these at Walmart for $19.97, I was like, yes, please. It's going to give me the same concept, baby, and do what it do. So, I got these. I actually wore them for the first time on Halloween. Next, y'all know, if you know... Y'all know I got to get my scrub, so I got me another scent in my favorite Tree Hut scrub, and this is the Papaya Paradise. Never had that scent before, but y'all know I love to collect my little, little scrubs. Next, I was telling you about the Rihanna uh, fragrance trend or whatnot. Um, I got the Crush by Rihanna. Wasn't even planning on getting this. My sister Keithy is the one who inspired me to get this, and I don't even know what it smells like blind by but this was on clearance i believe for like ten dollars um it's a one ounce and that's typically the the price you can get it for at ross yeah ross um but i did get this from walmart and i was like let me go ahead and get because i might not look up on it again so i'm excited to see what it smells like because all her other little perfumes do do smell good and last but not least of the items and we'll be done i scored this bessie the Bessie Johnson Bessie Fied perfume in a 3.4 fluid ounce perfume for Walmart for Uncle is for $4.99, you guys. Now, this is very childish and juvenile to me, per se. But don't get me wrong. She do have some pretty good smelling perfumes. Higher, because I used to I used to have them. And I think I still got one right now or whatnot. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep it for myself. And being that I don't know what it smells like. Oh, excuse me, you guys. Um, I don't want to give anyone anything that I don't wouldn't wear myself. But they, that's kind of like, I don't know. That's like a win-lose situation, whatnot, because everybody knows it's different. But I don't know, y'all. But I, I couldn't leave this behind. It's like a huge bottle. And like I said before, I've owned a couple of her perfumes before, and they was really, really nice or whatnot. But I don't know. But for $5, I was not leaving it behind. All right, you guys, that is all of my haul. I hope you have enjoyed it. Like I said earlier, leave me a comment down below if, you know, you are going to look for any of these items. If you score any of these items per se or you got any of the items, hit me up on here or hit me up on Instagram. If you're not following on the Instagram, it's just like my YouTube him at Live to Shine. And I'll talk to you on my next one. Bye. I don't know if I would be looking right there or right there to the camera. <laughs>